I think using animals for medical research does work, and there are all sorts of examples over the past decades of medical progress. We use animals really for two main reasons. The first is to understand how the body works in health and disease, the very basic mechanisms, and the second is for drug and safety testing. And just look at the treatments we've got for cancer, the vaccines, the developments in surgery. None of those things could really have happened without using animals. Imagine taking a drug for the first time that had never been safety tested in a living body. Imagine having an operation which had never been tested before on anything that lived and breathed. I don't think many of us would do it. There were various people who suggested a while ago when a drug trial went wrong in which six people became seriously ill after taking a new medicine that actually that was proof that animal safety testing doesn't work. But I would suggest that it's actually the other way round and that we do thousands of clinical trials using human patients every year or human volunteers. And it's precisely because safety testing on animals is so good that we very rarely get those sorts of complications arising. Going back to the more fundamental research that we do to understand how the body works in health and disease, we're now developing transgenic animal models. That's a real advance. We're getting much more specific models of disease being recreated in animals, and that's really helping to improve our understanding of a whole range of conditions. Of course it's important to develop alternatives and to use them wherever we can. Nobody likes using animals in medical research. And I say that as somebody who used to do it myself. I didn't like it, but I did understand why I was doing it. So I think in answer to the question, does it work? It certainly does. The evidence is all around us, but it's important that we strive towards replacing the use of animals wherever we can.